everyone, welcome back to my channel and today we're talking all things date night looks. I thought this video was perfect timing with Valentine's Day on the horizon. So I've got seven different looks for seven different date night scenarios. Right from staying at home and going out for drinks. So I'm going to kickstart the video with this first look and this one is for going to the cinema then heading for drinks afterwards. So I'm going to do a little voiceover now and then you can have a real good look at the outfits. So the first look is for a cinema date and drinks afterwards. So I've gone for comfort with my leggings and layered my oversized shirt underneath my wool v-neck jumper. This still feels nice and relaxed but the shirt adds a smarter element to the look which is perfect for heading into the evening. I've then layered my oversized wool blazer over the top and finished the look with my knee-high boots and Palen bag. It's the perfect combination of smart casual, you'll be comfortable enough for the cinema but smart enough for drinks afterwards. I have actually tried and tested this look as we went to watch Avatar last week and had some food afterwards so it's definitely one of my go-tos. The second look is a little more casual and is perfect for those day dates or if you just want to wear something a little bit more on the casual side. So I've teamed my vintage leather trench with my relaxed jeans and leather heeled boots. A leather jacket would equally work for this look too and as it's still pretty chilly here I've opted for a high neck top and contrasted the look with my camel palen bag. I've been wearing this look a lot recently for a smart casual feel. It's a good one for taking you from day to evening too plus these relaxed jeans are really comfortable. Outfit number three is the perfect look if you're heading straight to dinner after work. So I've gone for this rib long sleeve top which is one of my go-to date night tops. It's super flattering and is nice and thick too so it's perfect for this time of year. I've then teamed it with my wide leg trousers and court shoes. To bring the look together I've then layered my ecru blazer over the top from Dish which matches my wide legs perfectly. The trousers are old now but I'll link some suit alternatives below for you. You really can't go wrong with a suit set for day night especially if you're not into wearing dresses or skirts then this is the perfect alternative. To finish the look I've popped on some chunkier jewellery to tie in with the hardware on my bag and this really gives it more of a nighttime feel. Look number four is a cosy one for those colder evenings if you're heading out for a meal or cocktails. I love the off-the-shoulder detail of this jumper. I wore this around the Christmas period too and it's a great alternative to a top, especially if you want to stay warm but still feel dressed up. As a contrast and extra warmth, I've teamed it with my faux leather trousers and finished the look with a court shoe and contrasting clutch bag to match the knit. I've also swapped my earrings for my Monica Vinader pearls, Majuri rings and chain bracelets. So I've called look number five first Valentine's as a missus only because I'm planning on wearing this myself for Valentine's. It's also a good excuse to wear all white again and get use out of my bridal shoes. So I've gone for a white waistcoat and satin midi skirt then layered my beige blazer over the top. I love this layered look and the waistcoat and blazer combo add a masculine edge to a feminine look. I've then finished the look off with my Russell and Bromley handbag and my Charlotte Mills wedding shoes as it's nice to show you guys how I style these with my everyday outfits too. So I couldn't do this video without including a head to toe black look. It's a great last minute option if you're stuck with what to wear. I always go for black if it's me rushing around or last minute plans it's just my go to. So I've gone for my sweetheart neckline rib top again and this time teamed it with my black satin midi skirt. If you want to split the pieces up feel free to add a belt too but today I've kept it minimal so it looks more like a dress. I've then layered my Arquette blazer over the top and finished the look with my black sandals and Ted Baker bag. Nice and simple and perfect for date night. For my final look, this is for those of you who are staying at home this Valentine's. So I've gone for my ribbed knit dress. It's super stretchy, warm and comfy and it's a nice alternative to loungewear as well. Especially if you still want to feel a little bit more dressed up at home. I've then layered my long line cardigan over the top for extra cosiness and of course finished the look with my fluffy slippers. So there we go, seven looks for Valentine's or future date nights with your loved one or friends. Let me know your favourites below and I hope you have a lovely Valentine's Day, whatever you have planned. 